Welcome to the sixth season of Kalispell Warhawk Football. My name is Mr. Hurricane, and it's great to be here today as the Warhawks take the field against the Rice Owls. This is also the first year of Warhawk football where there are no players left from the first season in team history. It's a new era for Warhawk football, one that they hope continues the success they've had for three years, winning at least nine games and a bowl game in each. With their experienced offense, there's still a lot of confidence around this team, and that's what we're going to see first. Boom! Kalispell football is in the air. Welcome to year six. Handling the return is senior Ja'Cory Day, who weaves back to the middle, and good coverage by the Owls stops him shy of the 20. So here is senior quarterback J.R. Battle, who opens up with three receivers. We're hoping for a big year from Battle with good playmakers around him and an offensive line very similar to last year's. The first play of the year is a give to senior running back Roscoe Sheridan. He does not go far. Sheridan coming off another 1,000-yard season last year. Now it's the first throw. Battles hit and short arms this throw, but it's caught by Ja'Cory Day, and this will go for about 10. I don't believe Day was the intended target, but Kalispell knows that they need to get him the ball a lot more often this year. 49 catches is his career high. Here is the second run now, and diving straight ahead is Sheridan for five yards. Two receivers to the right. Now it's a fake from Battle. He fires to the sideline, connecting with true freshman tight end, Hayden John Charles, a four-star prospect last year who stays in his hometown of Kalispell, Montana. Now off the delay, nice run here for Sheridan as he gets going for about seven. John Charles in motion now right to left, play action. And again, battle looking John Charles way who makes the reception, gain of 10. So now it's two John Charles brothers on this team. Of course, Kelly plays safety on defense. Back to the ground game, Sheridan left side, that's six. We have not seen Corey Miller check in yet. Sheridan still in the game. Battle just gets this away. Pass caught by Sheridan to move the chains. Nice opening drive here. The offense flowing as they'll run it now. Corey Miller gets the handle. Running off tackle. This is good for five. It is two senior tailbacks for Kalispell. Miller stays in. Fake again. Battle slides outside the pocket. Good coverage. And Battle will tuck it, running up the sideline. Ball comes out, and it's kicked out by a Rice defender. Very fortunate is Kalispell, as, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Just kicked out of bounds. So Kalispell now in the red zone. Quick strike. Touchdown, Justin McClellan. The senior receiver now in a starting role makes the catch. And there are your first points of Kalispell's sixth season. Can anyone remember who scored the first touchdown in team history? Now we're going to see this Kalispell defense that features a lot more changes from last year with three brand new starting linebackers. It's Luis Mayhew carrying on first down and he meets Anthony Owens who now has two tackles in his career. Quarterback Adam Dennis back to pass, downfield, got his man but out of bounds. Picking on new starting corner James Hampton I have very high hopes for Hampton after great off seasons the last two years. Now it's third down, Dennis outside to Nobles, turning up the sideline, that's a first down as John Charles couldn't make the tackle very cleanly. Now at their own 44 yard line, watch out! Blitz by Kelly John Charles and sacked. Kalispell loves moving him around with his speed and off the edge, quarterbacks are not ready. Here's third and 17, Dennis across the middle, and Hughes is surrounded by Warhawk defenders. Fourth down, and that'll bring on the punt team. Nice first quarter so far as the Warhawks take over. Motion now, the sweep today, and there is nowhere to go. Wasn't really the best look to unleash that play either. Stack formation now with three receivers in the game, and the pressure's there quickly. Battle's going long on third down, it's broken up. Nearly had McClellan for the big play, but watch number 29 get his hand in there. 
Rice forces the three and out, and here is Mayhew motioning. Dennis keeping, and slips the tackle of John Charles. Plenty of green in front of him, across the 30. Hampton can't make the tackle. This is all unnecessary yardage after missed tackles from Kalispell. Rice inside the 10, Dennis the Mayhew, stutter step in, runs into Shannon Evans, the new starting free safety. You will also see Glenn Hayes will be moved around. He is the nickel corner. Mayhew on second down meets Alex Hardy, the new middle linebacker. Third and goal. Three straight runs. And brought down from behind. That's the senior end, Jared Merritt. Kalispell with the stand in the red zone. Rice on the board. It's now 7-3 in the first quarter. Sheridan running right. And the Owls closing quickly. Not much on that play. We have that stacked look again. Battle second down. Underneath, Sheridan getting about seven. That sets up third and two. Same look from Kalispell running left, and Sheridan doesn't get there. That's a phenomenal tackle, and the Warhawks punt again. Start of the second quarter, Dennis with the screen to Hughes, and he goes down quickly. Merritt is out there, along with 21 Glenn Hayes. Single high look from Kalispell on third down. Adam Dennis in trouble and taken down. Wesley Merrill, the outside linebacker and true freshman, treats this tackle like a blocking sled in practice. What a rush. Now the Warhawks have it back. Good field position. And Rice dials up the pressure. Battle has time. Takes a shot deep. That's Ja'Cory Day. Touchdown, Warhawks. 55 yards, no safety in the middle of the field. You know it's single coverage. So Kalispell keeps in an extra blocker to handle the blitz. And if you think you're gonna win a foot race against Ja'Cory Day, good luck. Kalispell up 14-3. I'm hoping we see a lot of that battle today connection this year. Now up 11, the defense now giving up a big run as Mayhew is finally chased down by Glenn Hayes. With all the turnover in the linebacking core, I do have concerns about the run defense as Dennis throws a strike to Jordan Hughes. They're 16. Mayhew on first down, it's a fake. And Dennis keeping it up the middle, falling ahead for a first down, gain of 12. Quickly into Warhawk territory. Dennis scrambling again, but gets taken down. It's Glenn Hayes. We're going to have fun with him this year. That time he's lined up at outside linebacker and records the first sack of his career. Dennis on second down. Looks to scramble again, but he won't escape. Tracked down by Anthony Owens. Coming into today, Owens had the only tackle in this entire linebacking core. We are essentially starting from scratch at that position. Now Adam Dennis was shaken up after that last play, so George Thompson is in the game. Floats a pass, it's caught! I thought that was getting picked. Glenn Hayes, only 5'9", not gonna be the best player for those jump balls. Now it's fourth and two, Rice goes for it. Oh, what a block on Hampton. It's Smith for a first down, Rice keeps going. Thompson still in the game, and here comes a blitz from Kalispell. Thompson out to Davidson, breaks a tackle, and another one to find the end zone. Touchdown, and this crowd gets silenced. The tackling has been a bit sloppy, and how big was that third down pass to set up fourth and short? Rice cuts it to a four-point game now as the Warhawks run it behind Sheridan, who almost broke loose. Gain of 10. We're seeing mostly three wide sets in this first half. Again, off the play action. Battle finds John Charles. And he gets a little welcome to college football moment there, taking the big hit. New set of downs for Battle. Gets it out in time, and McClellan is leveled, but he somehow hangs on to the football. Warhawks on the move as Sheridan carries again. To the outside. Lowers his head, but he's the one knocked backwards. He tried to welcome the contact, but he was not winning that battle. Hands off to Corey Miller, first down. Spins off a one tackle, call it eight yards, as the Warhawks are very close to the red zone. Toss right, Miller. He pulls up to throw it. 
Miller misses Oscar Williams. You never know, Kalispell likes those trick plays once in a while. Second and ten, quick rush and battle gets crushed. That was nearly picked off. Third down for the Warhawks as they keep John Charles in to protect. To the end zone, deflected and nearly intercepted. That was the riskiest throw from battle today. Warhawks get three more, so 17 to 10, we see Adam Dennis back in the game as Nobles runs right around Glenn Hayes. These missed tackles continue to add up. Dennis now keeping. Oh, what a block by 83. That was a perfectly executed play. We're getting close to two minutes to go as Dennis sets up a screen. Mayhew tracked down by Elgin McCormick. Not much on the pickup. That makes it third and nine. Two safeties back deep for Kalispell. From the pocket, airing it out. Dennis deep. Hughes has it broken up. That's James Hampton. I'm a big believer in Hampton's ability, and he shows why right there. Kalispell now begins. A two-minute drill up seven. Here's a quick throw, and again, the target off play action is Hayden John Charles. He has pretty much caught every pass off the play action. To the air on first down, rush right through the middle. Battle stays on his feet through one hit, but not the second. Sacked by Noah Porter. Facing second and 18. Battle tries to stay in the pocket again. Ball comes out, recovered by Manning. So Rice flips things around a bit as we see a lot of pressure here from the Owl front four. This was what hurt the offense last year. We hope to avoid that, but that's not a good sign. Dennis running option, flip to Henderson. Gets around Tyson, and Evans saves the touchdown, but Henderson makes it goal to go. Come on, defense. Do you want to see that owl dance on your field? Rice gets nothing on first down. Dennis loses four. On second and goal, Dennis off the fake. Running inside the five and hit down by Alex Hardy. Third down. One more chance here from the two. Dennis sweeps. Mayhew hit and doesn't get it. And I can confirm the Rice mascot is not dancing. A field goal from Rice makes it a four-point game, and we'll see just how aggressive Kalispell gets here. You don't want to turn one mistake into two by getting too aggressive. We're down to 23 seconds. Check down here to Sheridan. That's going to stop the clock with 19 seconds. Kalispell now out of timeouts completely. Battle to the outside. Nice grab by Amante Jones. And now they can take a shot. They have five seconds left. Battle with five receivers in the game. Buying time as the receivers run deep. Barely getting this throw off. And it's caught by Lamar Williams. Diving into the end zone. Touchdown. They had him outnumbered. It was great that he made the catch, but he almost got tackled before he scored. Unbelievable play by Lamar Williams, who did not have a great junior campaign. But now Kalispell leads by 11 going into the break. After an exciting first half, what's to come in the second half between Kalispell and Rice? What an incredible finish as Lamar Williams makes the biggest play of his Warhawk career. JR Battle has three passing touchdowns, and Kalispell has an 11 point advantage. It's Rice ball now, a very important drive for them as Mayhew gets six. Two safeties back deep, but the blitz is sent. Dennis underneath. And rallying, Glenn Hayes brings him to the ground. That's the tackling we need to see this half. Kalispell gets the football in the second half very quickly. Now it's a jet sweep. Ja'Cory Day through a lane into the open field. Has one man to beat. Running at hyper speed. Ja'Cory Day in for the touchdown. The first rushing score of his career. Yes, I can't believe it took this long either. He can thank his blockers, too, for the best running lane we've seen all day. 31-13, Rice wants to know what happened. Mayhew taken down quickly by KJC. Adam Dennis on third down checks it to Mayhew, who is wrapped up by Glenn Hayes in pursuit. We're already seeing that Glenn Hayes impact on defense. 
Kalispell football spinning off one tackle. Sheridan gets about one yard. That's like the only thing not going well for Kalispell today. Now the draw play, Sheridan can't get anywhere. They just clog up everything. That makes it third and 10 for Kalispell. Pretty soft look here from Rice as they get the pressure, cover well downfield and sack JR battle. That's good defense and exactly what the Owls needed. But now they've got to get some offense going. Mayhew sweeps to the right. He gets outside to the 50. 14 yard run. But just think about it. This score was 17-13 until Kalispell made two huge plays. Dennis now scrambling all the way inside the 40. This is definitely a work in progress for Kalispell giving up all these big rushing yard chunks. Dennis scrambling again. He gets away from one tackler but is still taken down for the sack and that is Alex Hardy. Third and 11 now. Dennis sets up a screen. It's Smith with nowhere to go. Wrapped up by Hardy and it's fourth down. Another Owl field goal makes this a 15 point game as they'll try Sheridan again. And he takes another hard hit. Third down for the Warhawks, Blitz is sent. Battle underneath, there's Day, but wrapped up shy of the marker. Another big stop. That's two straight stops now for Rice as they get the ball back late in the third quarter. Dennis scrambling again, running for the first down, tackled by Hardy. Kalispo needs to adapt with a spy or something to limit that. I think that this play was running correctly as Dennis was waiting for someone to take the football and now he exits the game. George Thompson is back in on third down. They get it out to Smith, but Kelly John Charles makes the first down saving tackle. Rice knows they have to act quickly. It's the fourth quarter. Thompson, fourth and four, running for the first down. And a few more wrapped up by Wesley Merrill in Warhawk territory. Here's a third down again for Rice, running Thompson. Chase down, close to the marker, but short. We'll see Rice again go for it. Another fourth down try. Thompson with time. Now fires complete, it's Davidson who scored the touchdown. Gain of a dozen. Rice again makes the big play when they need it the most. It's only a two score game right now as Smith is taken down behind the line by Nate Graham. Here's third and 10, soft cover three look. Smith wrapped up by Glenn Hayes, who's made a lot of big tackles in this second half. They've had great success on fourth down. Can they convert again? Thompson to Davidson. And the Owls are now four for four on fourth down. Inside the 10 with backup quarterback George Thompson. He fires back in the end zone. Travis Brown with the touchdown. Rice says it's not over yet, but they do need this two point conversion. Thompson with a trip stack to the left. Look into the air. Sliding to his right, running for the goal line, he doesn't get there. The play is made by Titus Graves. That keeps it a nine point game as the Warhawks take over. Rice stays aggressive. Across the middle, the catch is made, and Williams breaks free. He's going the distance. Lamar Williams back for more, touchdown. Rice's aggressiveness has been the wrong approach on defense. You can't give up big plays like this and expect to win. Kalispell's gotten pretty fortunate today, but I hope this explosive element is something we see on a regular basis. Up by 15 again. It's a screen. Red well and Day doesn't get there. So Rice still in a two score game as we see Thompson still the quarterback. Smith runs and gets about four. Merrill on the stop. But time now very precious for the Owls as Thompson completes it to Travis Brown. One-handed grab, now fourth down. They are four for four on fourth down. Running, Davidson, nope, he doesn't get it. Wesley Merrill forces the turnover on downs. That's the true freshman I was so excited to get. The Warhawks now look to run out this clock, but that requires a running game that is producing. Can you believe Kalispell has no third down conversions yet? Battle chase to his right, and now they're 0 for 6 on third down. 
yet have 37 offensive points. Rice has a minute to pull off a big comeback. George Thompson on first down. Strong throw finding the hole in the defense. Henderson inside the 30. Rice just keeps staying in it. They still need two touchdowns. 45 seconds left. Deep to the end zone and intercepted by James Hampton. That should just about do it. Another great week one in Kalispell, Montana. Running out the clock now, this is Terrence McKinley the third, And he will get the final snaps here for Kalispell. Running the counter for a first down, and that will do it. Victory to the Warhawks. That was a fun way to open up this season. 37-22, Warhawks get the win. Behind four JR battle touchdown passes. He only had 19 last year, less than two per game. I'm hoping he can put up some bigger numbers than we've seen from any Kalispell quarterback because I think we have the playmakers and the structure to get it done. Today was all about the big play for Kalispell. With five touchdowns, four of them came well outside the red zone. We had no third down conversions, not much of a running game. This is not the kind of offense that is sustainable but we have the big play ability. And when everything works like it did today, this team is pretty special. Ja'Cory Day had a big week one, so did Lamar Williams, and credit to the defense. Players like Glenn Hayes made a number of plays. James Hampton held his own. I need to see a lot better defense against the running quarterbacks and the running backs as well. We also can't miss tackles the way we did. But one thing I like about this defense is we can get creative and blitz and leave some space open because we have the speed to close distance once like a catch underneath is made. If it's third and nine and you check it down, I know we have players that can rally to the football, whether it's John Charles, Hayes, or the linebackers. We'll find you. And here's a fun stat. Five sacks for the defense, none to defensive linemen. It was a corner, a safety, and all three off-ball linebackers making their first career starts today. Now, we're not going to talk recruiting much in the first few weeks of the season, but I did want to share a couple things. I was trying to stay in a recruiting battle for a four-star receiver, Ian Smith. That didn't work. And one of the prospects created by Blackjack, Raekwon Underwood, already chose Arkansas. So we're not going to be able to pursue the talented corner. We'll talk a lot more about recruiting after a couple more games, but I am definitely looking for a lot higher rated prospects than normal. After one week in the conference, we do see that Wyoming scores a big non-conference victory against Washington State. And also, we have Boise State losing to Troy. They've been a good team now for a while, and Utah State loses to Hawaii. Every year in this division, not even just the conference, but our division just changes so much from year to year. I think Kalispell can be a contender for the conference title, but how good are these other teams going to be? Wyoming getting this week one victory makes me think they're going to be one of the toughest competitors. JR Battle earns Mountain West Offensive Player of the Week as well. In week two, we play our yearly Pac-12 opponent, and this year it's UCLA. And Kirk Herbstreet thinks we can pull off the upset. It will be a major challenge heading down to Southern California. And we're going to meet one of the best high school quarterbacks in recent years, Jesse Heikinen, who has been redshirted and has been sitting on the bench waiting for his opportunity. It's the first start of his career. And outside of him, you have All-American talent and a lot of pro potential in this UCLA team. This is probably the toughest game on our schedule. So we'll see just how ready Kalispell is. I do think their offensive line is going to give us a lot of challenges up front to slow down Heikinen and the running game. And if we can't throw them off balance, that's going to ask a lot of our offense to play catch up. I think we should look less to the downfield passes this week and focus more on underneath concepts that are going to keep the chains moving so we don't get overwhelmed by a great defense. But that's going to happen in week two. Hope you guys enjoyed the debut here in year six. This was so much fun. Please smash that like button. Can we get this video to 1,500 likes? Can we do it? Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day.